So I originally started this video to talk about MQTT and show how I use that with my matrix clock. Now I'd previously done another video on this clock and if you're interested in the other features of it, uh, you can look at that video. But the one thing I mentioned was that this particular device has dual controllers, one for the clock, but it also had a WLED controller. Now I rarely use the WLED controller because the WLED effects just didn't translate very well to a matrix. But with the latest release of WLED, all that has changed. It now has support or 2D matrices, and that's what we're going to look at today instead. So hang around. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Resin Chem Tech. As I said in the beginning, WLED's latest version, 0.14.0, which is still technically in beta, adds support for 2D matrices. So I decided to stop my MQTT video, I will release it later, and take a look at how WLED adds support for matrices and what it looks like on my matrix. So with previous versions of WLED, the built-in effects that were there just really weren't that great on a matrix. Uh, some of them were a little bit interesting, but for the most part, they just did not translate real well to using on a matrix. But before we get into actually showing the effects, there are a few things I want to talk about that were a little bit of a gotcha when you're upgrading from a previous version of WLED. In my case, my version was so old, 0.10.1, I believe, that it actually wiped out my entire configuration and I had to onboard the controller to Wi-Fi again. But when I first launched it, I was a little bit disappointed because I only saw four different effects uh, for the matrix. That's because I hadn't defined and set up the matrix in our configuration. So again, since I was setting up from brand new, you do have, still have to come back in here and under your LED preferences, specify your total number of LEDs. In my case, it is a 25 by 16 matrix, so I have a total of 400 uh, pixels. But what you'll see new is this 2D configuration, and that's what I had not set up. So you have to come in here and basically tell it how your panel or your matrix is set up. Now in my case, I just have one panel, but it does have support for multiple panels. So you can actually take two, three, four, you know, and uh, different panels, and of matrices and add those together. In my case, I just have one. Again, it's 25 wide by 16 rows tall. Uh, again, I have just have one panel and it is serpentine. So it goes from one to the other. Now I have to find one panel there. I actually have to talk about that individual panel. My first pixel where the data line is connecting is on the bottom left. It does have a horizontal orientation and it is serpentine, meaning we're one uh, LED strip ends, it connects to the next one back and forth in a serpentine pattern. And again, you can see that in the build of my matrix, which there'll be a link to down in the video description. But once I had that set up, when I went back to the main screen, I now had all of the different uh, matrices effects available. So now with WLED all set up for our matrix, let's take a look at some of the cool new effects that we have. Now, the nice thing is there's a nice little filter down here. So I'm going to filter this to just show the matrix effects. Let's just actually just pull up the first one. And right there is already something we did not see with previous versions of WLED. Let's go to another one here. I'll just pull up some random ones. Now you can see that this is responding within the matrix and everything isn't necessarily linear. And again, there are some really cool effects and most of these effects have additional option settings in terms of, you know, speed and your different color palettes. Again, this just adds so much to WLED. In fact, there is something that I know has been requested for a long time. I'm going to go ahead and jump down to it down here. And that is, if I would actually add a color in here, actually the ability for scrolling text. I know that has been a huge uh, request of WLED. Now, as of right now, I don't see a particular way to, to change this text. I'm sure information with that will come. And again, I'm sure there are going to be tons of more uh, matrix based effects that that will come out but again just the fact that uh, I don't know how many of them there actually are right here there are quite a few and note that something like let's see if I can find one we can actually combine matrix effects with sound reactive WLED so in that case again I don't have a microphone hooked up here so um, you're not probably not going to see anything meaningful but there should be a way to actually get something like, there you go, like a graphic equalizer now by hooking up a microphone 
with sound reactive WLED and the new matrix displays. This actually is going to make my matrix much more useful in terms of using it for WLED. So with the addition of support for matrices with WLED, I think that my matrix will get much more use with WLED in addition to all the features I have with the other controller with the clock. So that's just a real quick look and that'll do it for this video. If you found anything that you liked, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me and YouTube both know you'd like to see more videos like this. Hit that subscribe button to see more of my content and ding that little bell icon if you want to be notified when I release new videos. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.